Hi guys, I'm back today. I almost said tonight because it is like late because I stayed up really late. Actually, I don't usually go to bed till like 5 or 6 a.m. Usually after that because my husband works really late nights. But I am back today with a video that I am super hyped about. In fact, I was going to make it a slightly longer video and include a couple different items. But then I went ahead and I put this on and I was like, ooh, this needs a moment. It needs a longer moment than I was about to give it because it is so much better than I actually thought it was going to be. No, I thought it was going to be incredible. I thought it was going to be incredible. But then I put it on and it was even better than incredible. What is better than incredible, you ask? I don't know yet, but it's some level that is like far, far above incredible because it's insane. The palette that I'm speaking of, I actually I used two different palettes today, but the eye palette that I used today is the Sweet and Sticky from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and I am just creepily in love. That is what I have on my eyes right now. This has to be probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite eye look I've done this year which is saying something. Then I am also wearing one of their Vivid Lip Paints in the shade Just Chill. That is what is on my lips right now. And then I'm also wearing their huge, okay guys, this shocked me. When I got it in the mail, I was kind of like, the heck just happened here? I, I knew that they were full size highlighters, yet this still surprised the crap out of me. This is the size of the palette. This is my face, say goodbye to my face. So when you open it up, it looks like this. I'm gonna show you the inside of the other one in just a second, but like, like literally, look at this. This is insanity. This thing is massive. You will never ever need another highlighting palette and you'll probably after you use this never want another highlighting palette because it is that good. So the retail cost of this is $75. I did get it on sale for Black Friday. I scooped it up immediately. Thank goodness or I would have been really devastated, especially now after using it. I don't, I think I might actually declutter the majority of my other highlighters. I don't need them. I don't need them. I don't want them. This has taken over. This is what's up. So this is what it looks like. It is so much even more beautiful than you're seeing right now because it's actually very late. I only have like one light on right now because the other light is so bright that it makes my eyes kind of like go weird. So in any case, that is what that looks like. I actually used these two shades in the middle on my cheeks like as my blush and then I added white noise to the tops no I added white noise and transcendent to my actual highlight area and I'm highlighted to the heavens like God would see me coming that's all I'm saying so there is that and then back to the sweet and sticky palette the inside looks like this it does not have a scent which I love I love the outer packaging and the fact that it doesn't have that scent makes me happy I don't want to have a chance for more sensitivities on my eyes and I really appreciate them not doing that with these so that is the inside it looks basic it looks like you know a typical normal palette maybe something that you may not have been that interested in the cost of this was $30 it was worth every penny if you did not pick it up you need to immediately run to her site before it's gone because it is that good I'm like I'm on one right now. Like, this truly is probably the best eyeshadow I've worn all year. Not even gonna lie. So, this is what it looks like. It is stunning. The shadow names are adorable. Like, I love them. And I've gotta say, in general, for such a large sale, I was shocked to have gotten everything so quickly. I've actually had these for a few days, but unfortunately, I haven't really been sleeping. And so... I tried to go in order of which the things I've received, but then I just got too hyped about these. So, I actually have, like, I have a lot of things queued, ready to be tried. You guys will probably not even be interested in those things by the time I finally get to them because I have so many. <laughs> it's a problem, but here we are. And this was totally one of them. I also did get the Vintage Rose palette from them. I originally was going to try and make this all one video, but then when I got done with this, I was like, no, this really deserves its own moment along with the highlight palette. Gorgeous. Needed to make like a solitary video just about them. The other thing I want to let you guys know is that their shop is so good. The shipping is good. The customer service has done nothing but improve. Like, I remember the first time I ordered, I couldn't get a hold of anybody, and now they have been relentlessly on top of their game. And it really goes to show what feedback can do for a company, because they've gotten feedback on a couple different areas, and they have done nothing but just show the customers that they truly care about what they have to say. And that, as a business owner, I can't even picture. It is hard to say, hey, you know what, I recognize that this is going on, and I'm going to make these changes, and then do it. And she did. So thank you. I appreciate you, Brandy. You are awesome. And I am so proud of all the things that you have done. I know we don't actually know each other, but hi. We're, apparently we're friends. You don't know this. Um, anyway, I think she's done a great job getting the representation of each skin tone color. There is light. There is dark. And I've even seen some medium tones on there as well. And I'm for that. And I'm really glad that she found somebody and had those beautiful pictures added for every skin tone. Woo! 
we are here for that. I love inclusion, baby. That is amazing. So in any case, I'm going to swatch this for you, and then I'm going to swatch the highlight palette, and then I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts, though you probably already can tell that I'm just like, we can end the video right here. They were wonderful. You should buy them. If the highlight palette ever comes in stock, you need to run. Don't like, oh, I'm going to meander there and look at some other stuff. No, you scoop it up, you check on out, and you call it a day because it is so worth it. It's not even funny. I just held my elbow, but that's all right. We got to roll with that. Anyway, I'm going to swatch this for you guys. <laughs> okay, you guys, I've done this twice in a row, back to back. Started swatching stuff, did not record, but I promise you, this was like a one and done type of deal. <laughs> This is the first shade, it's called They See Me Rollin', and it is a beautiful purple undertone brown shade. It is very reminiscent of the Pat McGrath shades you see all the time, but I'll tell you what, this is like, honestly, I think it's better. That's just me being honest here. The next shade is called Let's Get Baked. And this is kind of a beige toned yellow. I was really surprised by this but in a good way. It's not quite as warm as I expected it to be, and actually neither is they see me roll, which is to its advantage, because honestly, it kind of differentiates it from anything else that you see with this color story. The next shade is called Dem Buns Dough. <laughs> I'm sorry, these names have got me rolling. And this is kind of a gray undertone buckskin tan shade. Again, it's not overly warm, so really, the only true warm shade in here is 375 degrees. And it's awesome because you do get, if you don't even use that shade, you can get a really beautiful, cool toned look. The next shade is called Sweet Cinnamon Latte. And it really is kind of the perfect name. It's almost a slightly pink undertoned, taupey gold shade. It's gold, but it's more taupey, silverish, kind of pinkish. It's gorgeous. It is a very cool toned shade and it just looks stunning on the lid. The next shade is called 375 Degrees. And it's a beautiful kind of mid-tone orange shade. My shade in the palette is called Icing Drip. like a true icy white shade it is so beautiful this palette is totally something you need to be honest I didn't think I did but I was gonna get it because I love the formulation so much and now I'm like so truly happy I picked it up that is the whole sweet and sticky palette sepia sunflower Holy cow, that is beautiful. It's like a gold brown, beautiful foiled highlighter, I guess, but boy, wouldn't this be a nice eyeshadow? The next shade is Golden Peach. And it is truly a golden peach shade. It is just perfect. Oh my goodness. You hardly need anything. Like I'm touching this just a tiny little bit and I have too much, like far too much. Shade is called White Noise. And it is a beautiful white highlighter. Like, oh. Next shade is Porcelain Peach. And it is a beautiful pink undertone, frosty kind of highlighter. That is just stunning. Pinky Peach. Guys, these are actually swatching really nice. The problem I'm having is I actually have too much product. I hardly have any on my hand, but when I'm swatching it, it's still too much. You don't need a lot. And it's definitely, to me, more of an orangey pinky peach but it is stunning as well next shade is called champagne and lilies and it's a beautiful kind of orangey goldish shade really beautiful next shade is called transcendent okay this shade is kind of a peachy undertone gold shade it is very pretty they all are. Like, come on. Oh my goodness. Shade is Halo. And this is also available as an eyeshadow. It is a beautiful white, gold, shifty, beautiful 
highlight shade. It reminds me very much of a souped up Pat McGrath highlight color. The last shade is called Platinum Lilac. And it's a beautiful, frosty kind of lavenderish tone. Oh, it's gorgeous. I can't, it can't hang. I, I can't hang. Look at this. Oh, the heavens are open. guys I'm back I have my eyeliner on I've done the swatches I also put on mascara I'm not mascara list even though it looks like it um, I've been really trying to make the melt mascara work I've been trying it with a different um, that looks weird like what is this <laughs> anyway this is like what happens at 2 a.m. how you doing uh, it really is better with another wand but it's still not my favorite. I'm going to try another wand still and see if that makes a difference. I like it much better with a different one. That's all I'm saying. It's not a bad mascara, but for $24, I kind of wish it was better. That's just my thought. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Melt. I love you, Melt. Melt, don't hate me. I love you. <laughs> anyway, Sweet and Sticky, it may seem like a normal kind of warm tone palette, but I'll tell you what, it's even got a little bit of coolness to it. Like, this is warm, but it's also kind of cool. And this is warm, but it's also kind of cool in a way. So, I'm telling you, this is frosty number one and this is not an overly bright yellow so I'm I'm just trying to put this in your mind that it is worth giving a shot I know that you may go but I have these kind of colors but I don't actually I have tons of colors and they're still different the only one that I might have something similar to is this one and that's because Pat McGrath has released like a million bajillion versions of this same color <laughs> but that's it in quality in fact in my opinion the mattes in here are much better than Pat McGrath sorry Pat McGrath I love you but gimme glow is coming for you that's all I'm saying I love this. I cannot say enough good about it. It is still in stock. You guys should definitely be hauling it immediately, like, immediately. I, that's it. That's it. I'm sorry. I'm redundant, but I love it. And then as far as the highlighting palette, it is a massive book of everything I needed in my life and had no idea. Like, I need to take a breath and take a moment to realize just how gorgeous this palette is. Since you've already seen the swatches, I think we can both agree, or all of us can agree, that these are literally probably the best highlighters that I've ever used. I, I'm trying to think of a single one that I've liked better than these. I feel like the Jeopardy timer, like, do, do, do. I probably, ooh, I might get in trouble for doing that. But, um, 
there's none. There are none that are as good as this, in my opinion. There's some that are different. Like, there's some different highlighters. Like, if you don't want something super blinding, which I think that I shared this out, but I also made it kind of shiny, you could make it stronger. You could make it lighter. You need very little product to get a lot of impact. But um, as far as these go, I, I can't even compare them to anything. They are so fantastic. Now, if you're wanting something more subtle, this may not be the right choice for you. And that's okay. They have actually some very nice diffused kind of highlights as well that are in a loose form. And that may be what you want to check out. But baby, this is what's up. And one more glance at it. Like, okay. And let's be real. I'm going to be using these as eyeshadows as well. I may actually scrape off a top layer and make... That was a really strange caress. That was creepy. I'm I'm really into these. But I'm, I'm not like, hey, I'm into you. I'm like, I'm into you, but I'm not that into you. Anyway, um, I'm going to try and maybe move some of this into smaller pans so I can use it in a normal, like, mixed palette on the daily because these need every single bit of attention that they can possibly get. In conclusion, I sincerely think you guys should pick up everything that you can that is still left on the site. I feel like they've got to have, like, the doors and the windows hanging off the hinges because there can't be much left. But to me, definitely a great company, definitely a great sale they put on, and definitely some wonderful new products that they have just come out with. I cannot wait to do and upload the video on the Vivid Rose palette because the Vintage Rose was just like the most fantastic thing ever, and they are going to go so well together. Like, God bless you. My husband's constantly sneezing. This is a real thing. Ooh, he's streaming, so I just interrupted, but <laughs> anyway, I can't wait to do that video for you guys. And I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. Leave a comment down below. Maybe say what you picked up, what you're going to pick up, what you're glad you didn't pick up. There's probably nothing that you're glad you didn't pick up. Let me just be real with you here. Not trying to tell you what to do, but I'm kind of like telling you what to do. <laughs> um, if that statement didn't just put you off, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for future updates so your creepy, not mother kind of mother figure can tell you what to pick up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.